Hello, Jeff Darrington here, Senior Technical Marketing Manager at Greylog. In this video, I'd like to talk briefly about how Greylog can be used to capture physical security events. How? Well, this is where physical security meets cybersecurity. Just to provide you a list of some of the things that are to be considered when looking at physical security, let's have a quick look. Different types of systems, if not implemented properly or even at all, will leave you vulnerable. Greylog can be a central location for all these types of physical security events. While Greylog would not be the primary source, it can be the centralized source of all these logs. Here's a list of secured items to consider. Lack of intrusion detection systems, insufficient lighting in secure areas, insufficient power and battery backup, monitoring of fire, water, HVAC, and IT server rooms and closets, strict onboarding and offboarding procedures for staff, contractors, and visitors, monitoring access to IT rooms and closets, and security card access, watching for piggybacking or shared cards. Most, if not all these cases involve a separate application or systems. They require you to manage and view them all individually for important information. Logging all these sources into Greylog will give you that central pane of glass for the view of all these different sources, saving time, money, and access right at your fingertips. Here are our log sources that could be sent to Greylog. Intrusion alarms and logs sent to Greylog. Smart lighting systems in their logs. Smart UPS, backup power generator logs. Environmental monitoring like temperature, humidity, and water controls. Onboarding and offboarding of staff and network accounts and assets. Security card access, access levels to IT rooms, closets, and all doors. Let's go through a quick example number one, security card logging. Alerts to IT staff could be sent when HVAC maintenance staff enters server rooms, followed by other correlating events, for example, when power is lost during a time frame or temperature problems in a server room. Another one would be onboarding or offboarding of staff, timely termination of network accounts, and the deletion of security card access is a correlation monitoring internal processes to ensure you've appropriately managed those assets. Monitoring for piggybacking by looking at badge in and outs per day. And monitoring access to IT rooms, closets, and internal external doors. Let's take a quick look. Here you'll see a dashboard where I've integrated a credit, an actual card system for access through doors to different buildings within an organization. As you'll see on the right-hand side, there's a variety of timestamps for the individuals coming in and out of the actual location. And on the left-hand side, a ticker count for the in and outs per building per user. Down below, because the geolocation information is being stored, it is actually showing the actual locations of where these individuals are logging in and out. Number two, environmental monitoring. Dashboards and alerts on UPS low batteries or failed generator activity, monitoring smart lighting systems for operational needs, dashboards and alerts on key temperature and humidity alarms, monitoring staff in and out of a building during fire incidents or fire drills or after hours activities. Next, let's look at that scenario. In this dashboard, you'll see a variety of things for environmental monitoring from minim minimum temperatures, maximum temperatures, minimum humidity and maximum humidity, and your UPS battery status in real time, followed by your minimum maximum temperatures over time. Hopefully this dashboard and the one previous is giving you some ideas about what other things can be sent into a log and how that can be used in your environment so that you have the full picture of what's going on with your physical security. Thanks for joining us and happy logging with Greylog.